Hello everybody, I'm the Amp Apple, and today we're going to take a look at Vault 22. This vault can be located here, just west of the west side west entrance, lol, or just north of Red Rock Canyon. And the entrance is right here. As you can see, the place is a shithole. It's covered with plants, it's covered with mantises, and there's this very helpful sign that says, Stay out, the plants kill. But enough of that, let's go inside this vault and see why eating your vegetables could be bad for you. So, the place looks like shit, and it's also got a massive weed problem. It's overgrown, it's rusted, it's dilapidated. When you go in, you can get one of the activated restored terminals and gain access to the person you're looking for, and here's expedition entries. So first of all, she sends you to gain access, she's going to keep logs at certain of um, the computers. And she's saying that it's surprising, there's the greenery. Um, she's trying to get her pit boys in the fritz. She's going to try to get some data before leaving. That's who you're in here looking for, if you came from Camp McCarran. Or you may be here for the data from the Brotherhood of Steel, but irregardless. So, the place is... at first it seems okay. Okay, there's plants, there's nuka cola, it's fine. Also, the elevator, I suggest you repair it as soon as you go in. Okay, it will save you time later, but we're not going to be going straight to the bottom. We're going to take a look at each and every level that is involved in this, frankly, very creepy vault. So, without further ado, let's go. So, anyway... Right here, we have got the lab area. So, first of all, there's trees in the main room, and here, as you see right straight ahead, is the lab. Now, this is where you're going to eventually rescue Keely to. So, first of all, you're going to get, going to get access to the terminal to get the rest of the entries. So, first of all, in Expedition Entry 3, she's stating about the study of the atmospheric effect on plants. She's going to try and get the data for it. Four is saying the machinery is broken down and the, uh, the oxygen recycling system has been damaged or it's been bypassed. Then the strange chittering. Now the chittering is the mantis, okay. Either they got stronger because of the spores in the vault or they were already here. But as you can see in the room straight across ahead here, um, they actually do have cave entrances set up. And you can gain access to these areas later. So, after that you move on you would gain access to here, showing some of the areas where they actually were trying to grow plants, showing that the experiments were, to some degree, successful. You get to another terminal, and it will show you some of the complaints. People complained about the noise. This at the time was most likely the mantises, but not the people possessed by the spores. After that, you can actually go down the stairs and get to the next level. Now, down here is where you're actually going to start meeting enemies who will be disguised into shrubbery. This will be food production. So as you can see right here, this is what you're going to be facing, the spore carriers. Now, this is actually a bug, and I'll explain it in a second. But as you can see, they're completely they're completely feral, they have spikes sticking out of them. And when you target their head, only the top part's available, which suggests that maybe the pit boy only picks up... Well, maybe the top of the head is being vulnerable, suggesting their physiology's changed quite a bit. If you go back into the vault after you've left it, you're only going to see them like this, they're only going to stand up, they won't lie down, it's a bug, it's a pretty, pretty good one, like it means that they're not going to get the drop on you, because they can be quite terrifying, but um, it is a bug nonetheless. They also soak up quite a bit of damage, so I suggest the cowboy repeater or the shotgun if you actually want to try and take on the spore carriers, as they do get stronger as you get deeper into the vault, especially in their numbers, always in their numbers. So as you get further into the room here, you're going to see a couple more spore carriers and then the computer terminal in the back. You can once again gain access here to some more of the reports. So the reports here are going on. So first of all, it's saying about Dr. Peter has missed his third thing. He's sick. People are sick, but the artificial lights have a response with the plants. Then it's saying pest control found a substance, mood altering effects, and everybody else is getting sick as well. This was the start of the spread of the spores. This is where it all began. After this, it got worse. Every Dr. Peter passed, and then people spread um, rumors that his corpse reanimated and attacked, which we can assume is what happened after people died when exposed to the spores. After this, you're going to get to a room with a vat and some UV lights in the center, and once again, you can gain access to some more terminal entries. Should be noted that the whole point of the experiment was to get the plants to grow with exposed to UV light. So, then she's saying they find this, uh, the scientists, they're able to blend in, but the spores aren't contagious to ghouls. She never says anything about yourself, which is kind of worrying at this point. But also it's a threat, and she's going to try to find out more data about it. 
So from here, you're gonna move deeper into the vault and you're going to get here. Now, this is this door will be locked when you first enter. Okay, you're not gonna be able to open it for now, but you can get access to some terminals here as well. Security request for going into the caverns to, to search for things. Medical emergency as people were attacked. Now, considering the repeal, we can assume at this point it was probably the corpses and not the mantises because you'd be aware of the mantises. And uh, now you can tell they're getting overrun by, well, the spore carriers. So at this point, you're going to need a key card, which you're going to have to get access to later in the vault. You have to disengage it from the overseer's office and then use the key card. So you can't do it at the current present time, but you will be able to gain access to it later. After that, you can proceed down the stairs again and you get to the common area. This area has a lot that really sheds light on how this impacted the entire vault as a whole. Okay, so there's a couple of areas. One of the creepiest to me is the toilets, oddly enough. There's nothing in the left one, nothing of interest at all, but to the right one, you're gonna see this. Okay, someone actually turned on the toilet. They became one of these spore carriers in the toilet. But it's not that that's the worst part. Spore carrier runt. It was a kid, we can assume. One of the only times when you can actually kill or harm a child in Fallout New Vegas. Now, this only happens to once, one other time in this vault, but it really shows you that it was bad enough that it killed the kids as well, not just the adults. After that, you can actually gain access to the overseer's office, which is just opposite the toilets. Well, not opposite, but just straight past them. No body in here of the overseer. Don't know where he went. He was probably killed along with the rest of everybody else. But there is a terminal that you can gain access to, which, once again, sheds a little bit of light on the current scenario that the vault is in. So you can have the crew quarters, the data backup, and the cavern access which, you know, you're going to need to unlock those if you want to progress further in this vault. After that, you're going to get here, into the billiards room at the top. Nothing of much interest in here, once again showing the UV lights effect on the plants. Also, this terminal once again, and you can get some terminal entries here. So. Rick is trivia game and she's going on about how the medical reports people died to it and they succumbed to the airborne spore infection and she also reveals the UV lights show the spores, the contaminants and when you actually look you can actually see the spores floating in the air. Now considering we never succumb to them we can assume that they don't harm you unless you've been exposed to them for a very long amount of time but I'm, at this point you have been, you've been to expect that this is what vault -Tec wanted. They wanted the spores, people to be affected by them because it's over a glare in the huge hole in security. Once you reach the ground, there's a lot of spore carriers here, so this time there'll be brutes, which may or may not be males, and I'll tell you later why, but I suggest you have quite a bit of stim packs, take them on one at a time, and don't just charge through, they will overpower you and kill you. Once they're all dead, you can just head straight ahead to utilities. Now in utilities, there's a couple of things. First of all, this is one of the other spore carrier runts. Okay, the only other one in the vault. There was a spore carrier brute and a normal spore carrier, which would suggest a mother, a father, and a child. The spore carriers may be female, the brutes may be male, and the runts are the children. Here in this room, you can also get the key card that you're going to need to open the door. Now, up these stairs is the other interesting part of this vault. Venus flytraps. They don't do a lot of damage, I don't have a lot of, but they have a very large amount of range and can be quite terrifying if you just pass around a corner and they start hissing at you. After this, you're going to progress to utility. Now, there's nothing of much interest here apart from a terminal and a flamer later in the room. Now, the flamer is the strange noises, so people have been trying to find it out, probably the mantises, and the gas leak. They find a strange residue on the pumps for the oxygen. Most likely the spores that were unbeknownst to them getting pumped into the vault, which turned everybody. Then in the next room you can get a flamer, and flame fire is very effective against spore carriers, the plants, and the mantises. After this you're going to go to the clinic. There's no bodies, no dead people, none of that shit, but there are some terminal entries on, well, the computer, about the infection and how it progressed. So first of all you get case 162. Someone's came down, Dr. Peters, with a case of pneumonia. This is the one that reanimated, that you heard about earlier, in the earlier, ter earlier terminal entries. Then a group of them, everybody coming down with it, 
and they suspect a contagion at this point. 162 update. He hasn't responded to treatment. His condition is going to get worse. Explorative surgery. After this, even more people have succumbed and they're suggesting um, segregating them from the general populace. Then Dr. Peters has died and the fungal fungus in his lungs is still growing, so it's a parasite. It's still progressing even after he's dead. Then after this, of course, the body reanimates and attacks her. At this point, they realize it could be happening to everybody and the situation is much worse than they initially feared. After that, you can actually get access to the door that was locked before. A lot of mantis in here, so be prepared to kill them all. After that, you go straight down and head into the left. This will bring you down to this door here. Pest control. This area was originally segregated off. Now in here, there's only one thing of interest, the terminal to the left. This will give you a look at the species, both the plants, Venus bio traps, and the spore when it's attached to people. So first of all, let's talk about the mantis. Sorry, mantis this time, that was the um, Venus fly traps the first time. And the second time, the third time, sorry, it's talking about um, the actual fungus itself. How it attaches to the prey, how it kills them. Yeah. I don't know at what point they actually became aware of this, or if it was only after it had already reanimated everybody, but they did become aware of it at some point. So, in this vault, okay, in this part of it, you're going to encounter the savage ones, the savage spore carriers, and they do a lot more damage, and they are a lot faster. So, attack them from a distance, or they will wipe you out completely. Okay. Then, you're going to progress through here. The elevator, the door to the common area can be opened very easily, but at this point you probably don't need it. After that, all that's left is taking care of the Venus flytraps in this room, and then progressing on through. Now, from here, there is a door into your left where you can gain access to the computer mainframe. Now, from there... Well, actually, this room, first of all, is actually quite interesting. It's one of the cave rooms, but you don't really have to worry about it too much, only if you want to actually gain access to the cave at that point, which you don't really need to concern yourself with right now. From here, you're going to be going to here, the terminal room. Now, this is what you're going to need if you want to complete the quest for the NCR or the Brotherhood of Steel. You need the data, okay, about the vault, the research data, all of it. Even though it is quite the, it is questionable and this is completely, this is definitely a pathogen. I don't even know why the fuck you would develop this, but it is a pathogen. So, after that, you're just going to be heading straight ahead to there and through. After in here, there's nothing of interest apart from another entrance to the cave once again. Don't know how these came about, I'm presuming the mantis has dug them. So one thing to note, okay, there's multiple entrances to this and you'll have seen them either through inaccessible areas which you can get to after, but they're all just straight path, there's nothing of interest down here. A couple things to note, one, there's a lot of mantises and Venus fly traps around here, two, the experiment seems to succeed because plants are growing down here without any light source or we can uh, guess nutrients of any sort or description. So they did seem to actually achieve their goal, even if it also made a pathogen that made people into zombies essentially. Yeah. Yeah, Voltec always seems to fuck things up somehow. After that, you'll be dealing with Dr. Keeley, Good. a ghoul. So you meet her back in the second level. This was the part where repairing the elevator could have came in handy. So. After you repair the elevator, you'll go back up to her, and she will tell you this. Good, you're here. She wants you to burn the whole fucking vault. All of it. Now this is tricky, okay? It can be found here, in pest control, in the upper north corner. I suggest the following. Get a grenade, get into this room here. Be ready to close that door as soon as you throw the grenade. Toss it, close the door, pray you don't get incinerated. This is the only room where it will work from, so be careful. After that, you go back to her, and then she'll say that, okay, it's destroyed, now we just need to check, ah, no one's good. taking any data. Now, all that's left is to now, you can lie, which I did, because, yeah, I don't I want this woman knowing this. that I've stolen all this data. You lose karma, then you get karma, so it doesn't really matter. So that's it, that's Vault 22, 
this research and agricultural purposes, but the people were also being exposed to a dangerous spore that vault may or may not have, but almost certainly did because they're a bunch of shitty cunts, knowing that it would affect all these people. They turned into mutant zombie plants and, yeah, I'm assuming killed each other. This does come from Big MT, but we're not going to be going into that detail until much later videos. But yeah, zombies that are vegetables, essentially broccoli. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, favorite, and subscribe if you did. I know it's been a while since I've did one, but I will be continuing to do so, and I hope you will keep watching them. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them in the comments section below. Please follow me on Twitter for any updates, interaction, or news that I may have. And as always, I hope to see you in the next episode, and goodbye.